Do you condemn what Hamas did that day? Do you condemn October 7th? Do you condemn that political organization? Do you condemn? Do you condemn all Muslims? It is high time that we claim the narrative and we shift the conversation. Don't be intimidated by such tactics. Be brave, learn your facts and push back. You want me to condemn? Yes, wallahi, I will condemn. I will begin by condemning the debacle of the Balfour Declaration where all of this began. The Balfour Declaration and the Sykes-Picot Agreement. Let's begin by condemning World War I. Let's begin by condemning Great Britain handing over a piece of land that it had nothing to do with to a people that have nothing to do with it. You want me to condemn? Let us begin by condemning the first and the second Nakba in which one 1.5 million people were displaced. You want me to condemn genocides and massacres? Let us begin by condemning the massacres that Israel perpetrated against Palestine, beginning with Deir Yassin in 1947, where hundreds of bodies were filled up in the well of Deir Yassin. You want me to condemn hostages? Let's begin by condemning 15,000 Palestinians held without trial, without any fair representation in Israeli prisons. Let's begin by condemning them. You want me to condemn killing of people? Let us begin by the carpet bombings that Israel constantly does for the last 25 years. And I'm gonna go there today, brothers and sisters, because enough is enough. And if we're all cowered into silence, if we're all too scared to speak the truth, they're gonna get away with it. But if every one of us raises our voices, is that every one of us is brave enough to push back? Well then, inshallah ta'ala, we will achieve a level of social credibility. We will push back at the narrative. When too many people speak the truth, that is what is gonna break down falsehood. And that's what we need to do. So let's go to the very events you want us to condemn. You want us to condemn October 7th? I have plenty to condemn even on that day. How about we begin by condemning the lies that you perpetrated about what happened on that day? Lies that went all the way from CNN, from BBC, from New York Times, from every single newspaper. Even our president lied straight to us and he looked at the camera and he said, I saw pictures of 40 decapitated babies. I never really thought that I would see and have confirmed pictures of terrorists beheading children. Pure lies, Israeli propaganda. I will condemn, and this is my condemnation. How dare you lie to us and you lie to the world. And because of that lie, people were enraged and thousands lost their lives. We all know it was a lie. Even the New York Times had to withdraw and retract the story. You want me to condemn? How about the condemnation of your lies of the mass rapes that you said occurred? Not a single rape has been attested to that day. I will condemn because you're the ones who created a narrative. You're the ones who falsely construed a narrative that was then used to bomb, to kill, to maim, to rampage. You're the ones who falsely created a narrative. This October 7th did not come out of a vacuum. You want me to condemn? I will condemn 75 years of brutal occupation before October 7th. That's what I'm going to condemn. Enough is enough, brothers and sisters. Enough is enough. And what? Gaza has done is that it has shown the world the hypocrisy of those who claim to champion human rights and freedom. Gaza has shown the hypocrisy of those who said we are the world's leaders because we are the best. We are the world's leaders because we are for democracy. We are for human rights. We are for liberties. And what a small group of people in Gaza have done is to show the world those were blatant lies, absolute lies. The mask of deceit has fallen and the truth has been laid bare. And the myth of the moral superiority of Western civilization has been shattered single-handedly by our brothers and sisters in Gaza. The world is changing. The tide is shifting. The narrative has now been changed. And there is no going back, O oh Muslims. There's no going back. The fact of the matter, even if Gaza is in shambles, the people of Palestine have won on the global battlefield. Never in 75 years has the Palestinian cause garnered so much support.
Never in 75 years has the entire globe, other than a few countries, come behind Palestine. O Muslims, remain firm, remain persevering, persist in all that you're doing, raise your voice, be an influence to your family and friends, and understand we're in this battle for the long run. And we might not see political victory immediately. We might not. But I say to you loudly and clearly, we have already won the moral victory. We have already won the moral battle. Palestine has won. The people of Gaza have won. 